Welcome to the TV King channel, cutting the cord since 2002. Please make sure to click the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you never miss out on the latest tips and tutorials. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you love Cody and free live TV, then today's video is for you. We're checking out the Plex Live add-on, an awesome way to stream hundreds of live TV channels directly inside Cody, all completely free. We'll go over what it is, how to install it, and whether it's worth using in 2025. Let's get right into it. So first, what exactly is Plex Live? Now, don't confuse this with the official Plex for Kodi add-on that connects to your Plex media server. The Plex Live add-on is a third-party Kodi add-on that brings you free live TV channels from around the world, no Plex account or subscription needed. You'll find more than 200 channels, mostly from the US, but also Canada, Germany, India, Mexico, and more. Channels are organized by country and category, things like news, sports, entertainment, gaming, and lifestyle. Basically, it's like having free cable TV built right into Kodi. All right, let's talk about how to get it set up. First thing you need is to install Kodi onto your device. If you have this done, you can jump to the install of Plex Live, so let's get started. If you're wanting to install Kodi on Android TV, Google TV devices, include the NVIDIA Shield, Chromecast with Google TV, Google TV Streamer, on 4K box, and similar systems. You simply have to go to the Google Play Store to get the APK. Before you can do anything, you'll need to get the Fire TV ready, which basically involves allowing apps from unknown sources. This means you can install apps from outside of the Amazon App Store. To do that, jump into the Fire TV's menu by scrolling over to Settings. It's the little gear icon to the right of the home page. From there, scroll over to Device. You may not see the Developer Options menu at first because an update Amazon Push to Fire TV devices hid them. Enable the Developer Options feature again by accessing the About menu and selecting the device name seven times. In this menu, there are three options, including the one you're looking for, apps from unknown sources. Go ahead and enable it. A warning will pop up, but that's normal. Go ahead and accept it to enable the feature. Since Kodi isn't available in the Amazon App Store, we're going to have to install it remotely with a Fire TV app called Downloader. You will need to install Downloader from the Amazon App Store. Just search for Downloader directly from your Fire TV. Just look for the Find icon, the left of the menu, on the home screen. Once installed, go ahead and open Downloader. Using Downloader is pretty simple. You'll just enter the URL for the file you want to install. Just enter the URL into Downloader's URL box if you need to pause the video. Do it now. Click Enter. Scroll down the Kodi website till you see ARM v 7432 32-bit, then click on that and download. Once the APK file is finished downloading, the installation prompt should automatically pop up. Click the Install button. After installation, choose Done. It should throw you back into Downloader, where you can delete the APK file if you want. You won't need it again, so there's no reason to keep it around. At this point, Kodi should be ready to go. Click on the App icon at the top of the Home menu, and Kodi will be at the bottom of the apps. You can hold down the center button on the remote to move it to the top of the apps. Your online activity is monitored by your ISP, government, and all websites. Become anonymous while streaming and downloading with Privato VPN. Click on the Privato VPN link in the description below. Now that you have Kodi installed, let's get started. Launch the Kodi app, then click Settings. Select the System icon. If it isn't already enabled, click the toggle to turn on Unknown Sources. Click Yes. Return to the System menu and open File Manager. Select Add Source. Click None. Type the following URL, exactly how it is listed here, and click OK. Pause the video between steps. Highlight the box under the source that you just typed in, and enter a name for this media source. Type Sly, or any other name you would like to identify this source as, and click OK again. 
click your back button on the remote or keyboard until you are back on the system screen. Choose add-ons. Click install from zip file. Choose Sly or another name you titled this media source previously. Click the zip file URL repository.slyguy.zip. Wait for the SlyGuy repository add-on installed message to appear. Click install from repository. Choose SlyGuy repository. Click video add-ons. Choose Plex Live. Click install when prompted. Click OK. You will then see Plex Live Kodi add-on installed message. We have now successfully installed Plex Live on Kodi. Continue for more information on this add-on, including some important details. After installation is complete, you can launch Plex Live to see the simple interface it provides. There are only four category options to choose from, which makes accessing the live channel options extremely easy. As you can see, there are numerous countries to choose from, including Australia, Canada, Mexico, New Zealand, Spain, and USA. One of the best features Plex Live provides is the ability to integrate the IPTV Merge add-on, which will enable an extremely useful electronic program guide to browse channels and show options. Users can also add channels to favorites for quick access of frequently visited options. Overall, Plex Live is a fabulous Kodi add-on that works perfectly for live streaming on any Kodi device you prefer. Now set back and enjoy Plex Live. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.